the next group of metrics is uh, the loyalty metrics. I am very often asked how to measure the user loyalty. If users are loyal, how does it change the metric values? And here is my answer. First of all, uh, the most important metric for measure the loyalty is the retention. If users like your project, they retain active for a long time. And retention is the way to measure it. One of my favorite metrics is sticky factor. Uh, to calculate the sticky factor, you need to divide daily active users by monthly active users. Well, imagine that in ideal world, you have uh, such a situation that uh, you have monthly audience, for example, 1,000 people, and every user visit the application every day. So it means that your daily active audience will be also equal to 1,000 users. And when you divide the 1,000 to 1,000, you will get the 100% result. It's the ideal value of sticky factor. But in the worst situation, uh, every user visited the application only one time and decided that user will not uh, return to the application. So, uh, if monthly audience is 1,000 people, then daily active users will be equal to like 33 people, and so on. And sticky factor will, will be equal to 3%, 3.3%. So, it is the usual corridor for values of sticky factor for th from 3% to 100%. Uh, which values are good for sticky factor? Well, the usual value for the games is 25 to 30 percent for the good games, for the good and successful uh, games. As for the services, I don't know really the benchmarks, but uh, I guess that's something closer to 30 percent. Metrics such as sessions and sessions by user and the average session length work very well for games. Uh, because if users like the game, they return to the game regularly, they can play some times during a day, and they have the longest session. But if you're talking about services, uh, these uh, metrics work in another way. For example, if we uh, compare the RPG game and uh, the taxi service, in RPG, the longer session is the better, but in a taxi service, it's vice versa. The shorter session is the better, uh, because it's, it's very good when you can order the taxi during the, like five seconds, but you can do nothing uh, for the five seconds in RPG. And the virality. Of course, the virality is also a very important metric. Uh, if users like, uh, if users are loyal with your, to, to your project, they are more likely to share the information about your project with their friends. Now let's explore the metrics deeper. Retention. Uh, these metrics are called classic retention. In a classic retention, uh, user is retained, for example, for one day if uh, he or she visited the application one day after the first launch. And if you're talking about seven days, if user visiting the application seven days after the first launch. It's very easy. There could be also long-term retention, for example, for half a year, for a year, for five years, and so on. It's for the project with the long-term long uh, li lifetime. And also there is a metric called rolling retention, which is also important. Uh, how does it work? If in a classic retention, the user is retained when he decided to return to the project one day after the first visit. In rolling retention, uh, user is retained when uh, he or she decided do, to visit the application one day after the first visit or later. So maybe a user cannot re uh, return to the one day. Maybe he went to the grandma or to, to some village and he had no chance to visit the application. But uh, this user will return later and this user will be calculated in rolling retention but not you know, for the classic retention. How should we work with the retention? Retention should be good. What is good? Well, again, I know a lot of benchmarks for the games, uh, for the good retention, I, I will show it to you. And uh, I recommend you to find some benchmark for your services, for your projects. Mm. Of course, in an ideal world, 
the maximum retention is 100%. Don't forget that long-term retention is more important than the short-term retention. Because uh, the longer users are with you, the higher the chance they will pay. And the higher, usually the higher the amounts they will pay. And uh, some tips about using the retention. Retention increased by 5% lead to revenue increase by 25 to 95%. So that's why uh, you need to optimize your retention uh, very well. You need to spend a lot of resources to optimize it. It's really important because uh, it leads to a higher increase of the revenue. Here's how retention works. It's the usual plot for the retention. Uh, unfortunately, most of the users prefer to leave the application, leave the project during the first days. But those users who remain active for some long time, they are more likely to return for the longer time. So that's why it's important to catch the user's uh, attention in the first days. And there are some benchmarks for the games again. The usual values for good games, for good and healthy projects, is classic retention, 35 to 40%. It means that uh, 35, if 100 users came to the game today, uh, for the first time, then 25 to 40 of them will return to the next day. And 60 to 65 uh, percent will return the next day or after. So that's why you can see that rolling retention is higher than any other retention. And the 5 percent is really good, the good values for, for the game for 30 days. So only the five uh, users from 100 will remain active with you uh, after 30 Days. And it's good. It's really the good values. In most of the businesses, this value is less. Well, what can change the retention? First of all, the traffic structure. Uh, our researches show that usually the retention for organic traffic is a bit higher than the retention for the paid traffic just because the users are motivated differently. The seasonality, retention has the very strong seasonality, and for example, our research show that users who came on Friday have higher retention than those users who came on Saturday and Sunday. How do you think, why? Why does it work? Have more time. Have more time. Yeah, they have more time because they they installed the application on Friday, and they uh, like they planned it for to, to visit this application, to explore this application during the weekend. But if the users uh, installed it during the weekend, they have less time to explore it because it's it weren't in their initial plans. Yeah, that's why this uh, uh, retention is higher. Also. Retention uh, can be changed by platform. Again, our research show that uh, the retention for the Windows Phone applications is higher than the retention for iOS or Android. How can you understand it? How can you explain it? They yeah, they don't have choice because uh, there are not so many applications in the Windows Phone store. Yeah, the concurrence uh, for one minute of users' free time is less on this market. Retention also depends on a stage of the life cycle of the project. And I will show it to you an example. And of course, for the genres. For the casual games, it's uh, usually, uh, retention is usually has the highest values because uh, it's so simple to, to play with the uh, casual games. But for the, some hardcore games, retention is much less. First group is the most successful games, and so on, and for, fourth group is the less successful games. And they measured two metrics, one day retention and the seven day retention for these projects. Uh, they measured it two times. First time is one week from launch, and sec second time is three months from launch. And what can be found? First of all, we can find the correlation between the revenue, between success, and the retention. For the most successful projects, uh, retention is higher. So that means that uh, increase of revenue leads to the uh, increase of money. 
And also we can see that uh, retention has a tendency to decrease, to constantly decrease. And usually retention reaches its maximum on the first days after the launch. So um, I wish you not to scary, not to be afraid if your retention will start falling after some days of uh, launch of your project. It's usual behavior of this metric, unfortunately. The next, next metric is sticky factor. Uh, I explained what, how does it work. We also called it the, the Jones index, like uh, on the financial markets. And here you can see the results of our research. For the most successful games, sticky factor has this corridor of values. For the less successful games, 4 to 15 percent. So it means that uh, for most successful games, about uh, if we have the monthly audience equal to 1,000 people, it means that each third of them visit the application like every day, uh, visit the application during one day. And here are some more benchmarks for you from Games Brief. For example, Angry Birds has uh, a very small retention, a very small sticky factor. It's surprising for me. The sessions. As I said, uh, the number of sessions is important mostly for games. And here are some benchmarks. In the usual games, in the usual healthy projects, uh, sessions per DAU equal to three. It means that in, on average, average user plays the game on the mobile three times a day. It's for the usual games. But if the game has longer session, like RPG, two sessions are enough. Two sessions are pretty enough for users to play during the day. And for the games where uh, you need to, to have a short session, like runners or casual games, four to five sessions can be the benchmark for you. 